Hello! Today I'm going to be talking about a book that I just finished. Uh, let me pull up the... Uh, it's uh, an audio book actually. And it's called Horror Soul from uh, Grady Hendrix. And it is such a... It looks like a product catalog of like, you know, an Ikea. Which is kind of what the book is about. It's like... It's a horror novel set in a retail space. And that was what drew me to the book. Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was super fun, a little bit gross as horror books are, of course. Um, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit because I don't know, I think it was a neat like little book. I think the audiobook was like six hours only, six and a bit. <clears throat> and yeah, I like listening to quick books uh, on audiobook. Whenever I see like a 20 hour, 18, 14 hour book, on audio it's just it's a bit daunting i don't know why i think it's just a lot easier to read um a, a long book than listen to it i don't know i don't know uh, maybe it's my podcast brain i guess but so horror one what it's about basically it's about uh you know there's some spooky things happening at night at like a knockoff ikea uh store they mention ikea a couple of times but it's supposed to be something like cheaper than ikea <laughs> but it's still the same like massive warehouse with like maze like corridors and um they sell furniture and stuff like that and so it's kind of set in a similar thing it's basically ikea so whatever um and yeah so the manager of the store has two employees one is the an older lady who's been like working at the store for like 15 years and um our main character who's like young she but she doesn't have a lot of money so she needs this job and yeah and so she uh they get promised that they'll be paid like three times to stay overnight and see what the hell's going on like stuff's happening at night and I love that premise. That premise was just like, I was like, this is cool. I like it. And the reason why I liked it is because I've worked <laughs> retail a lot. Okay. I basically from, I don't even know. I was a cashier when I was in high school, but from then onwards, I basically did retail uh, all of that time. Okay. It's, it's a lot of retail and I'm Scott. I'm going to be real. Okay. I'm Scott, <laughs> but so I could relate a lot to like what they were like what they were talking about in this. But you know, there is something to be said about like what retail stores look like at night, you know? Like uh when I was working at the clothing retail store and we would show up to do truck in the morning at like 5 a.m., 7 a.m. and the lights are off, there's only a couple of lights on, the mannequins are standing there creepy, they're looking at you, well. And even at the, the store I was working at, there was always like, when we came in, it was like, guys, the floor's haunted, like watch out, kind of thing. And so <laughs> I always thought that was really interesting uh, to like have a story set in that in that space. Cause I do think it's like inherently creepy, okay? When you walk through with no lights on and, Stuff like that i think it's quite creepy so um and again like the, the way they described like as they were walking through the store with like the lights half on and they keep walking back around and they keep it's like a maze like thing so that type of aspect of getting lost in a store at night it's just i just ah, i love it it's so cool <laughs> and then yeah i don't i'm not gonna spoil but it's really cool um so what else do i have oh yeah um so i did listen to it on the audiobook and i think i did myself a disservice just because when i looked the book up and if you google it like you saw um on this on this picture it has like and they it has like the different names of like the different pieces so you have the bruca which is the 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 sofa and then a could 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 jaring or whatever which is the um the uh shelves or whatever and 
at the beginning of each chapter, each chapter is named after a piece of furniture and it gets like progressively more insane, <laughs> the, the furniture as it goes along, which is really cool, but I, I didn't get to uh, see the furniture and what it looked like. So I Googled, I Googled, um, you know, the chapter name so I could see what these pieces of furniture look like because it was not what I thought. I thought they would just be like, oh, it's a chair. Oh, it's a desk. Oh, it's a this. No, it's not. Okay. Because as the chapters went along and the narrator, one thing the narrator was really good at, it's like a separate voice describing the, um, the pieces of furniture. Amazing. The guy's voice is like so upbeat. It's awesome. But um, yeah, so the pieces of furniture, the descriptions were like, um, that's not a desk. That doesn't sound like a chair. This sounds r really weird. And I'm glad I looked it up because I was like, oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. So I highly recommend if you're going to listen to it on audiobook, at least look up the chapter, like the beginning of the chapter, because it's like a catalog and it, it adds so much. There's a lot of details in it. So yeah, which you don't get listening to it. Um, I wish the audiobook maybe had like photos of the chapters. That'd be cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, overall, super fun book. Like I can't like it's really easy to to pick up and like drop. There's not many characters to keep track of. There's not a lot of things to keep track of. This is just a super fun horror read. So, and I think this could actually make a really cool TV show or like a limited series, like a four episode, three episode type thing. That could be really cool. I Yeah, that could be awesome. Um, yeah, other than that, I thought it was a fun read and I highly recommend. So, okie dokie, bye. <laughs>